Welcome back chess fans, this is Fida Master Deniz Arman. Today we are going to cover tips for chess combinations number 4. You can see the current position from our combination available on our chess board now. It's a very recent game, full of tactics and entertaining ideas. So this is a game played between Grandmaster Le Quanglian, which is a very strong GM known by many uh, chess players and chess fans. And also play on the black side, a very, another strong player, International Master Bersamina Paolo is playing. So before we are going to have a look at the winning idea in the position, let's uh, cover some of the basic winning attempts in the position. Because some of you have spotted uh, the idea of um, playing Knight H3 in this position. And uh, the idea is quite obvious because we have a nicely placed Bishop on B8 and Queen on C7. So we basically want to give a mate on h2. But uh, is that possible? Unfortunately, it's not. Because some of you have missed this uh, knight. is already covering the square on h2. So it's already protected and there is unfortunately no mate. So if we go back, there is another uh, winning attempt in the position. Uh, maybe a little bit more advanced. However, this is not going to work at all. Knight takes g2. Well, if king takes, this this could work perfectly for uh, for for black because after h2, we have to prevent black from promoting queen, king h1, bishop f3. So this is going to be the mate, a very nice mate idea. However, after knight takes g2, why not take the strongest piece on the board? Rook takes c7 and. How about the attack on the king side? Well, there is no attack on the king side. So this is basically a win for white. So these two attempts, unfortunately, not working well for black. So in the game, the best and the only winning attempt is played by black, by the international master Bersamino Paolo H3. What a move, because now the idea is quite simple to open the H file Activate the rook on the h file, and after playing a takes g2, let's say we we make a spare move like knight takes a6. At the moment, this is not working well, but uh, after after let's say h takes g2, knight takes c7, bishop takes c7, and then uh, well, uh, how are we gonna stop this threat of rook h1? After knight h2, there is already plenty of mating ideas. Let me spot some of them. Bishop f3, and we are threatening to play knight h3. And after bishop f5, let's say knight e2 check, rook takes h a2, and bishop takes h2. Mate. A very nice mate. Uh, this is the beautiful part of this uh, position maybe because all of our pieces are attacking uh, towards the white king and there is a very nice harmony between the pieces. So after h3 in the game white captured the queen and after h takes g2 the same idea happened actually after knight h2 bishop f3 White resigned in this position. It's uh, understandable because the threat is obvious. We would like to play knight h3 mate. And after, as we spotted the idea of bishop f5, bishop takes c7. So we would like to play knight e2. And bishop will capture on h2. And it will be a mate. So there is no way to prevent this idea, unfortunately. And this is just winning. So... Some of you may wonder what happens knight takes f3. Well, just mate on h1. And if we go back, I have uh, made some extra analysis for you in this position. If uh, What if white had played this um, h3, g3, and instead of capturing the queen, you just won't like to close the files. So that there are no open attacking files for black. However, this nice move h3, a spectacular rook sacrifice follows. Rook takes h2. Well, this is 
one of the typical ideas of giving a mate on the h file with the help of the bishop and rook and there is no way to prevent this idea so unfortunately we, this is why we, we can't capture the rook the only way is bishop e4 a very nice trick and after queen takes e7 some of you may think that okay this is game over because maybe even we can sacrifice the queen and play bishop f3 and will be sufficient for winning but this this interesting and strong move comes suddenly queen takes a6 wow this is going to be very interesting now because after b takes a6 bishop takes c6 look at this now we are giving a check we are threatening the queen the rook is hanging on h2 so what is going to happen now rook takes e7 king b6 bishop e4 a very nice move excellent move actually because now we would like to check on b7 after king a5 you will not believe what will happen let's say if we play rook h8 trying to continue our attack or maybe let's say protecting the rook so let me show you the mate basically b4 and yeah no place to to move for the king so after bishop e4 is there a way to prevent the mate idea this is also very interesting so black uh, has to sacrifice back the rook well uh, this is very nice because after bishop takes g2 knight takes g2 king takes g2 okay we have to protect our pawns and after knight d7 bishop d7 rook d7 look at this position now this is uh, more or less equal because we have three pawns for the piece so this was a very nice uh, variation that could be actually be played in the game and could be very interesting to see how how the game could proceed uh, from this point however after queen takes a6 black has this uh, tiny move bishop a7 and then this is a completely winning position for black again because the key king on a8 is completely safe now and there are no more tactics in the position our queen is okay on a6 was um, unless the combination was working with the bishop six idea was perfectly fine but now all of our pieces are sort of hanging on the board and don't forget that uh, black has uh, three pieces at the moment so uh, black is basically a piece up and okay still dynamic position but in the favor of black so this is also winning for black so thank you for watching our video for today there will be more interesting combinations uh, will come in the upcoming weeks so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel in the meanwhile if you would like to see our previous videos about chess combinations and training and game series i would strongly recommend to enter our website www.tipsforchess.com there you will find some videos for solutions as well so thank you for watching and uh, keep following us